come we don't see more frozen people around? Probably loaded onto the collector ship by now. Guess they're almost done here. So not frozen? No. What happened to Loco's real dad? <laughs> yeah, there was someone in the chat who had the nickname Loco's real dad. He changed his nickname after I requested it because it was a little annoying. Because people actually thought he was my actual dad. Which is very confusing. Loco, did you really murder Rex? No, I didn't! I literally didn't! I went to a planet too quickly. I couldn't change it. No, I, I, I'm like 99% sure, even if I would have loaded it and I tried to make all the right choices, he was dead as soon as I went to that planet. I don't think there was a way for me to prevent that from happening. Maybe I'm wrong though. But I doubt it because I'm never wrong. Okay, no, I'm wrong quite a lot. Oh. He wanted to hang out on the beach. New subscriber detected. Krogans are people too. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Wait, no. You are saying. How did I do? Thank you, buddy. Welcome back. I'll put them down. Tier 3 resub, by the way. I don't think I should charge these big boys. I'll charge the small ones, though, to replenish my shields, I guess. Alright. What's the best way to burn through these guys' shields? What? This guy was... Uh, Oh, come on! That was so random. Did he? All right. Heavy. You just shoot him, right? The incendiary rounds do decently well. They just have a lot of health. I have the same ability. What are you gonna do about it? You think you're cool with your shockwave? Taking fire. There we go. Krogan! Krogan! This is gonna cost me all my ammo, though. Is that bad? I hope not. Loco, I was looking at a picture of your forehead and I came across this. What? You were looking at a picture of my forehead? What? Oh, this is old school, dude. YouTube entertainer Loco. Some may know him as Loco, others know him as Loco TV, blah, blah, blah. Today was recognized for the incredible or ineradicable feat. Uh, the International Institute for Large Foreheads have awarded Loco with the prestigious award of the Golden Five Head. What is this, man? That's just bullying, dude. Ay, ay, ay. Kind of mean. Uh. Should have run. Now you're Streamers don't have feelings anyway, right? Kick W. <clears throat> what? Where'd you come from? There's the transmitter. Loco has someone going bald. I wish I had your hairline. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> 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 
It is what it is, chat. It is what it is. Nah, it's all good, David. Things like hair. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? I mean, there's some things you can do about it. But for the most part, it is what it is. <sighs> Loco Harstam did a vegetable tier list today and broke the chat. <laughs> we can do a vegetable tier list another day, chat. Remind me tomorrow and I'll do a vegetable tier list. I don't really feel like doing one right now, but... I don't feel very strongly about most vegetables, though. Yeah, uh, exactly. You have to prep something like that. I gotta mentally prepare for a vegetable tier list. Loco, I've never thought about my favorite veggie. <laughs> no, me neither. There's some veggies I don't really like, though. Yeah, carrots, carrots are pretty top tier. True. What? No, no. Oh, no. I was just... That's so stupid. Why am I... Oh, wait. I can do it again. Nobody saw that. Uh, am I blind? Ooh. Probably. Two blue lines of text. New subscriber no, detected. Yo, we're Rastu. Two years, nice. Normandy, you copy. Joker here. Signal sweet, Commander. Thank you, buddy. You. I appreciate you. Time to show these things we give as good as we get. Edie, bring the defense towers online. Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. The collectors will try to stop it. Good. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Wait, there's gonna have to be more fighting? Guns will have to be fired? That makes no sense. Why would there be guns? Why can't we just talk it out, dude? This fight is really hard, Loco. Alright. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. But I'm an e gamer. A true e gamer does not give up. This is the hardest fight in the game, Loco? What? Really? Well, I'm kind of excited for it now. Can't target them. I'm probably gonna get wrecked though by something something silly. So how do I know right now if Jack is alive? There will be more. There's always more. I don't know. Okay. Now his health bar disappeared too. I find the UI sometimes confusing as to like knowing whether or not my allies are alive. When their heads are colored, they're always alive. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Direct intervention is necessary. Continue. Guardian anti ship batteries at sixty percent. Seeking targeting protocols. So this is the harbinger again. Protect the tower. Punch him! Punch him! There you go. Get 
Okay. Shorty is not bad. No way, that's it. Gotta be more soon. Running a little low on ammo. System online. Don't know what that is, but keep back. That thing looks cool, dude. Praetorian? Ugh. Burn it down. It's got laser ice. Is this a Colossus? No, go. Shepard, why you're so awkward? Oh, Shepard, Shepard. Uh. Very nice. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, run! It's like a Zerk Colossus. I will just press my left mouse button more forcefully. That'll make me deal more damage. Because I'll shoot harder. That's flawed as logic. Do I have any bullets left? Not a whole lot. Oh, I have the big boy gun. Put them down. Point race! I went from full health to no health? Hi what do I even do? I guess I can't be too close to him because he just one shots me awkwardly. Good to know. I just used my lasers this time around. Yeah, that attack I think one shots me or something. I don't think he actually has any health right now when he like does that jump. I can keep hitting him, but like, it doesn't seem to do anything. That's a bit awkward. Okay, so that was all my bullets. No, this is... Shepard. It was stressful watching him almost first try. Well, it turns out I got one shot, man. I would have easily gotten minimal first try. Why is he even playing veteran? But you think I should go higher or lower? I don't know, I quite like this difficulty level actually. Seems to do well. No, no, Shepard, Shepard, stop derping. Damn it! What were you shooting? It's stressful watching him shoot a barrier with a pistol. What am I what else am I gonna shoot it with? Multiple impacts. Collector vessel is taking damage. The incendiary rounds seem to do decently well. Yeah, it's a bit buggy, right? The way it, like... Uh -huh. Pulling out. Oh, that was it? Oh, okay. That wasn't that hard, guys! Some of you made it sound like the final boss of Bloodborne or something. No! Don't let him get away! <laughs> that was not too difficult. Maybe it's because I've now actually done a bunch of side quests. 
I have some decent guns and some good abilities and some decent levels. <laughs> Maybe it makes you stronger. There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. It was a good fight, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the First Citadel. of his name, king of the Andals. You're in the presence of a legend to land. Yeah, keep it going, Caden. And a ghost. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. I'm the mother Caden, of dragons! Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. Aw. Caden has that dreamy look. Did you see him? That was beautiful. Been too long, Caden. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? <sighs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. Thinking you were gone. It was like losing a limb. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Uh, I literally just woke up, dude. Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now. I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? Wow. You guys are slipping. Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me, but there were rumors that you weren't dead, that you were working for the enemy. I don't work for them, bro. Cerberus and I want the same thing, to save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. I don't work for you them, really I work that. with them. Or it's a difference. What Cerberus wants you to think. Pay attention, Caden. The rumors that you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. Wow! You turned your back on everything we stood for. Should have left you on Vermeer, huh? Get over it, dude. The past is done. You need to focus on what's happening now. You saw it yourself. The collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Jeez, I hate these guys too, but they're not the only threat out there. I can see you won't listen to reason. You show up after two years and tell me you're working with Cerberus. What does reason figure into any of this? You've changed, but I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier, always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. Don't go, Caden! Join me! Am I... Yeah? Fat <laughs> chance! <laughs> no, I'm gonna pick this option, guys. I know he's not gonna join me, because I'm pretty sure he, he won't, but... Don't... Go. Join me. I could use someone like you and my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Saddest moment in this game so far. First, Jacob doesn't want to talk to me. Now, Caden doesn't want to be part of my team. Am I the bad guy? Collectors escaped with approximately one-third of Horizon's detected. population. Front Corporation will funnel supplies, monetary aid to colonial survivors. Collector leader Harbin, a Harbinger demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard. Unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic override, indication of hive mind among collectors or even reaper technology at work. 
Salvage teams captured collector bodies for study. Thank you very much, Executor, for gifting us up to Larry is a vegan. How'd you know, Larry? Price and... or precise and lethal, rather. This focused radiation weapon. It's basically a void ray. It kind of looks like a void ray as well. It's very effective against shields, barriers, and armor. Alright, nice. Squat damage, 10% biotic damage. 10% health for heavy skin weave. Okay. Got some credits, 51k. That's a lot. And I got some platinum. Very nice. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. Hmm. It was our first strike. How do we find them next time? The collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive, and with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony? Just to lure the collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. What's our next step? We have to keep the pressure on the Collectors. They'll be more cautious with their ground operations. So we need another opening. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your the team Omega law relay? Be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Thanks for the pep talk, but we'll be fine. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. More careful, dossiers? Shepard. The collectors will be watching you. Ooh, okay, so Elusive Man is telling me once I go through the Omega Lol New relay, I can't detected. go back. That's quite a big deal. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Oh. Is there? New subscriber detected. Yo, Mr. Ozzy. Thank you. It's my load than he ain't. Huh? All right. Yo, thank you, Mr. Ozzy. Gifting us up to Rentman, Hero, PS, and MRG. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you also, GMP, LKP, for the seven-month resub, by the way, earlier. Is that 69 subs today? Nice. Something on your mind? No. Nice. Just, there's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is too. Getting some closure, you know? Uh, no spoilers, please, guys, on anything. That would be nice. Thanks. Loco, I was gonna resub, but I can't ruin the sub count. <laughs> Reasonable. Reasonable Python. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I decide what's personal? <laughs> what? What commander says that? 
That's crazy. I decide what's... <laughs> no. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. New subscriber Yo, Peter. detected. Thank you. Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. Oh, now people can sub Should again? Oh, I see. On. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually okay, someone Okay, so this there. is Jacob's I mission. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. That's all good, Jacob. Uh, I'm gonna shelf this for now because I want to go around to ship, but yeah. Forward the coordinates to Joker, but a ten-year-old wreck isn't really an emergency. Well, Shepard... Of course. Shep... I'm having trouble taking it seriously myself. Shepard, I'm going there soon. But I just... Still, if we get a break, I'd like to close off any doubt. I just don't want to, like, you know, go through this cutscene and all of a sudden I'm there. Then my fish die. Like, we can't have the fish die, okay? As we discussed, that's the main quest. The main storyline of this game. A lot of things to do. A lot of things to take care of. Uh, weapon upgrades? Nope. Armor upgrades? Biotic damage. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Ship enhancements. Prototypes. Heavy skin weave. 10% extra health. Let's go. Retrain powers? Oh, what? Oh, I can reallocate? I can respec? I almost clicked the button. I was like, eh, that's probably not something I need. <laughs> almost clicked it, but okay, cool. Morden, my boy. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Sad. He's going through our dental records right now. The guy doesn't even want to talk to me because he's... Like, he's an engineer. Do engineers just all think they're also dentists? Is it... Is... Huh? You're an engineer and you're think... Hey, Commander. Fair. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? It didn't go so well, Joker. Another reminder of how I lost more than two years. I don't need this garbage. Right. Understood, Commander. That's, that's not the option I chose. That's it for now. See you, Commander. He's a doctor by trade and badass by choice. Fair. Look who I saw you click it. No. Yo, Kelly. Or I mean, yo, man. Kelly. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. Thank you, Kelly. The report mentioned that Caden Alenko was there. How did that go? I miss him. Caden is my favorite character. We've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Oh, again? Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? Operative Lawson? On the crew all. deck? Yes, Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. We just discussed that, yo, man. How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Oh, that's Miranda? Incoming message from Admiral Miranda. Stephen Ackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Where the fish are? 
Very nice. Yeah. Kelly seems to be into Shepard quite a lot. So I open up to her, tell her about this friend that I haven't seen in a couple years and how we're not getting along very well. And she's like, I understand. Anyways, you have private messages Commander, that need to be read. Thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. If I have time. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. Okay, I'll click if I don't, if I'll have time, just because I want to like. I'm on an important mission, Adam. Do my thing around. I'll shit. add this to the list. The prison is hidden underground in a Batarian outpost in Aratan. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Uh, okay, unread messages. Oh, I got a bunch of spam. Let's see. Robin Reeve. The Alliance soldier here gave me this contact info. I hope this reaches you. You said you were trying to stop those collectors. They took my son and my brother. Have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst. Empty desks at school, winter clothes that never get worn. Please. The Alliance isn't doing anything. The council isn't doing anything. If you can find our people, I'm begging you to do something. Tell me something I can do. Tell me anything. Thank you, Robin. Admiral Hackett, Commander. The Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we've sent it out to the affected fa- Oh, I've already read that one. Uh, we're aware that your old friend, Liara Tsoni, has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the Broker's past work for the Collectors. We recently, uh, uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find Shadow Broker's base of operations, but unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Severus' intel. If you'd visit Ilium and pass it on... Okay, cool. Did I read that one as well? I feel like I did. Feeding the fish. Main quest. Completed. There it is, chat. Are you seeing them? Eager to eat all the goodies. Now, I won't be able to continue the main quest of feeding the fish until a little bit later again. But we're getting there. Um, I don't really like the full face armor. This one's good, though. Like, I don't really like the way the the gear, or sorry, the the voices sound. I guess I'll run it for a bit. The Blood Dragon armor is apparently the best armor for Vanguard. Yeah, that's what someone else mentioned as well. The problem though about the Blood Dragon armor is that I feel like I'm an advertisement for like Dragon Age. And, uh, I don't really want to. <laughs> Am I really gonna all tap out for this, uh, Mugetsu? Alright. All tapping out for it. Oh, this is actually cool. David Kim returns with a new studio that plans to make an RTS title.
Hold up. Lightspeed and Quantum Studios establish Uncapped Games, new studio led by Blizzard Entertainment veterans to develop new real-time strategy game for PC. California-based studio now hiring. Well, would you look at that, huh? Tencent subsidiary Lightspeed and Quantum Studios have announced the establishment of Uncapped Games which is led by industry veterans David Kim and Jason Hudges and will create an action-packed real-time strategy game for PC to be revealed at a later date. Well, Tencent has like... I don't know, they have a finger in every single gaming development thingamajig that seems to be going on. You're not playing Tencent games? <laughs> it's gonna be hard to go around that, man. Going forward. Uncapped Games is located in Playa Vista, California, all right? And we'll focus on building industry-leading pool of talent that brings unique perspectives and skill sets to develop games at the studio. Interestingly enough... Huh. Interesting that they're, like, not going, you know... With, like, either the Mike Morheim company at Dreamhaven or if they, like, worked... Mm -hmm. In a press release, lead producer said one of our main priorities with Uncapped Games is to empower great game developers to enjoy what they do best and foster an environment at lab, okay? Lead designer David Kim added, making the next great PC a real-time strategy has been my, been my goal for almost a decade now, and Lightspeed and Quantum is giving us an awesome shot at making that. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, anyway, these are three people that are very experienced playing uh, or making video games. David Kim, of course, lead balance designer for StarCraft II's multiplayer for many years. Now, you also got a lot of hate because of that exact role. But... Um, That is very cool. Yeah, he was in charge of multiplayer, basically. And uh, whether or not you like them doesn't really matter. Obviously, in that kind of role is, uh, you know, you're always going to make decisions that, by default, a lot of people are not going to like. Just because if you, say, for example, you, you buff Zerk, Terran and Protosses are going to complain, right? And obviously, like, there were some questionable decisions. But overall, I mean, StarCraft 2 is still around, whereas a lot of other esports are not. <laughs> it's been over a decade. And one of the main reasons why that is the case is because of David Kim, right? So I feel like he, he got a lot of he got a lot of hate over the years. A lot of Thank people you, um Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Yeah, a lot of people were just being being mean to him, I guess, in general, but yeah. He uh is one of the main reasons why StarCraft's still around today, so it's just you know, it is what it is. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Commander. Now, Tencent just has a ton of money. That seems to be the general gist of it. They just have a ton of money. And uh, they like to throw it around in the entertainment industry, it seems. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. He's in the middle of some calibrations again. Never wants to talk to me. <laughs> Always in the middle of calibrations. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since oh. you set up sorry, sorry, sorry. I won't take supply. any more of your time. Back to work. Back to work. Jump's done. Hey, but cool though, right? Like, uh, obviously there's Dreamhaven and there's Frost Giant. I don't know if Dreamhaven is working on an RTS game, but considering it's, uh... Okay, so here's the thing. We know 
that one of the reasons why StarCraft 2 was around for so long and why Blizzard put quite a lot of money into it, despite the fact that it wasn't the most popular game out there, is because of Mike Morheim, right? Mike Morheim, founder of Blizzard, big fan of RTS, big fan of strategy games, big fan of, like, Warcraft and StarCraft, right? That's one of the reasons, at least, why a lot of people think that StarCraft, you know, got so much funding for a very long time. Because the, the president of the company really liked it. Um... I can imagine that at the very least they considered making an RTS game if they're not currently already working on an RTS game as it is. Right? So, I would say there's probably a bigger than 50% chance that Dreamhaven is working on an RTS. Obviously Frost Giant is working on an RTS. And... I mean, now apparently this new studio that's also with some veterans from Blizzard also working on RTS. That's pretty cool. Aren't Dreamhaven and Frost Giant partnered up? Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't mean too much, right? Yeah, maybe you're saying, like, they wouldn't partner up if they were both competing in the same space. Maybe. Okay, maybe a 40% chance then. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't really matter all too much, but... Considering, uh, like, two years ago, people said that RTS was dead. It seems like there's quite a lot of people working on it right now. Which is cool. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? Thank you, by you the way, Miketsu, for sharing that. remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Only not anymore. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Uh... I can help. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Cool. So we have another, uh, another, uh, quest. Yeah, her, uh, her dad doesn't seem particularly nice. I don't know, man. Just getting that vibe is all. Hello? Hey, got a minute? Yeah, you say that whenever I walk in here, but then you don't actually want to talk. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Okay. Let's go down to engineering as well. So these are, I think, loyalty missions. I'm not sure exactly how they show up. Yeah, they just like show up with the name of the character and then that's it. So this is the main quest. We have Zaid as well, Jacob, Miranda. And then we have dossiers for like three more characters, including Tally. All right. Mark all viewed. Oh, okay, well, I don't know what it does. We have a bunch of stuff to do, guys. There's a lot of quests, actually. I'm gonna talk to, um... Yeah, Engineer Donnelly! Oi! What can we do for you, Commander? I don't know, I just want to hear your voice. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Shut Sunday. up, Engineer Daniels, don't care. Firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. Clout. They sovereign as an isolated threat. Political clout. Single... Which was bullshit. They okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, alright, alright, alright. Right, right, right. I've already heard Syria. this. Will do, Commander. Will do, Commander. I'm trying. 
Will do, Commander. It's gotten worse. Hey, look how my dryer stopped working, so now I have to hang laundry, like, to dry, like someone in the Netherlands. Oh, actually, there's still one person I need to talk to here. Grunt! Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, huh? I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. Grunt seems it's to be in a good, brow, good mood. Pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. What? Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war. It was the last push before the rebellions ended. Why is that funny, dude? Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, <laughs> but now I get it. It was a good fight. Wow, Enemy okay. Was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. But what about K Garrus? Like... <sighs> don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. Whoa, whoa, what's that finger, Shepard? I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did. To see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. All right, Grunt. Um, happy to see you're acclimatizing so well to your new body. I don't know where... Um... I don't know where Jack is. Probably said it on the elevator screen somewhere, but I didn't see it. Don't tell me, Chad. I know some of you. Okay, there she is. Hey. Hey. I should go. Yep. <laughs> hey. hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm Hit so the road, you know Jack. Me. Don't you come Thanks back no more. Look at these files. Sorry. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. Luckily, we were in sync with singing. <laughs> what if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. She's looking for dates? Twitch chat right now? Dates? Loco? Dates? Calm down, chat. Hold yourself. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. Do you want better quarters? You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. <laughs> you know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. You'd be my first mate? I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. <laughs> There's some logic in there, but like, it's really bad logic. I should go. Yep. 
Yep. That is one of the dumbest things a character in this game has said so far. It's simple, guys. If everyone else is dead, there's no one left to kill you. Duh. What's she wearing? Uh, tattoos. Mostly just tattoos. Alright. Um, wait, Zaid, where's Zaid at? Zaid? Grunt? Is Zaid on the other end? What's this area of the ship? Shut up. Normandy's cargo. That's all for now. Hey, Zaid, I was gonna say, bro. This mission takes me back. Alright, cool story, Zaid. Nice window. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more. What you say? Oh, they are, Rushy? Nice. I will get those later. Uh, okay, so we need to make a decision as to what we're gonna do first. Oh my god, so many options. How do I possibly decide what I wanna do? Roll a dice. Inamina Mutter. Roll a D20. This one is called Overlord, which is cool because, you know, Overlord. I think we're gonna do everything but stop the collectors, okay? I suggest I just look over here at the galaxy map. Donation accepted. Yo! Are you going to save all your crewmates? I'm not gonna make any uh, predictions as far as that goes. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Thank you very much, sir, for the ten dollar donation. Cap the killer. All right, time for some more top tier gameplay. There it is. This one's rich. No, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save everyone. Um. The mission comes first, chat. We Road must launch. save the universe, okay? Probe away. Thank you very much, though, Cap. I'm probably gonna disappoint many people in the game. Probe launched. Look, can you tell me the point of this minigame? Uh, there's four resources you collect and you buy upgrades with them. It's really lame. Launching probe. It's like genuinely boring too. Probe launched. Launching probe. It's relaxing. Dude, it would be more relaxing if I didn't have to use my entire mouse pad and like I have to like use my mouse like this in order to get anything done. Probe. Probe launched. Why is it still rich? Okay, more. There you go. If the mouse uh, mouse point thingamajig wasn't so annoying, it'd be much better. Yeah. This one's poor already, so I'm not even gonna bother. No, no, no. Yeah, I know I can install a mod, but I think I'm gonna go modless. I don't really want to do mods. Nope, A and D. Well, A and D, it works a little bit, but it's very slow. 
Moderate? I'm not gonna bother with moderate either. Okay. So that's this area then also done. Um, okay. Help Jacob investigate Project Overlord, recruit Tally. Help Zaid. Um, I haven't done the Zaid mission, even though I've had it for a while. Maybe I should do that. Oh look, another planet! Yay! This one's already poor. Dude, I'm quite excited when it says that the planet doesn't have a lot of resources on it. it means I don't have to play that minigame. Very nice. What about this one? Oh, nice! Also, no resources on that one. Sweet. Can't be guilt tripped. Oh, this one, this one. Oh, this one's good. Okay. That's a shame. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Most of the big gas giants are poor. Well. Wow. Are you shaming big gas giants right now, Krolls? Ha ha, big gas giant, you're so poor. Can't Go believe away. this, Krolls. SMH my head. I kid, I kid, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Dude. Probe launched. Probe launched. Loco first goes safe, Tally. No. Got him. Away. Not all planets can be created equal. No, I think that's kind of the point. Launching probe. Launching probe. 